Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Booze Tuesday. Today is St. Patrick's Day, and honestly, I don't think there's a better thing to unbox on St. Patrick's Day than the St. Patrick's Day meme YouTube's figure. But we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're adding a little twist to the unboxing. We're going to be doing something that I've never, ever done on my channel. Ever. Maybe I should have one more ever. Ever. Today, while we unbox this figure, I'm going to be drinking some apple juice. So without further ado, let's open this thing up. So let's start off by pushing the figure back real quick because we got to get our apple juice all ready to go. I was trying to figure out the most obnoxious way to be drinking this apple juice so I found this giant boot. For some reason we just had this giant glass boot laying around so we're going to be filling this thing up with apple juice. So without further ado I suppose let's uh let's get started shall we? Look at that, it actually sounded like my intro. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> Alrighty, and in the boot, the apple juice goes. Oh, if you're wondering why there's foam in the apple juice, it's this brand new kind of apple juice. It's, uh, it's carbonated, so that's pretty cool. It even got like a, it's got a cool little minimalistic design on there. Just as apple juice, we got a little apple there as well. I like the packaging. I also don't know how many apple juices this is gonna take to fill up, so I guess, I suppose we'll see. But now we're on to number two. And in the boot it goes. All right, there we go, it's almost full. Looks like we could fit one more in there. You know what they say, third time's the charm. And let's finish this thing up with some more apple juice. There we go. I know there's a lot of people right now who um, have been waiting for this. For some reason, I don't know, I, I mean, I, I guess it's my name, but I've had so many people, like I'm talking like a ton of people over the years tell me to, you know, have a beverage while I do an unboxing. So here you go. I'm finally doing it, even though it's just apple juice. So anyway, we got this thing all nice and filled up. So without further ado, let's start the unboxing. So first things first, you know, we got to take this thing out of the sleeve so we can check out the actual sleeve. And here it is. First of all, I have to say, I honestly love the look of the, uh, the front of the sleeve here. The aesthetic looks great. All of the different greens on the front sleeve here just work so well together. Actually, I might want to raise my dash up a little bit. There we go. So on the front of the sleeve here, it says St. Patrick's meme. We have the concept right there. We have the same kind of background that we see on most of the dead meme boxes, or I guess all of them, except the colors have changed to different kinds of green. So it looks like we have a lime green on the bottom there, and we have a darker green on the top there. Also, I forgot to mention, but this figure actually released a year ago today, and I've never actually unboxed it on the channel. I did end up um, filming an unboxing of it when it arrived a couple months later, but then I never ended up posting it because I had like a ton of stuff to post. I have like 10 or 20 unboxings that I've like done and I've edited, they're all ready to go and I just never posted them. And this is one of those. So I'm actually really glad I never posted it because now I actually get to unbox it on St. Patrick's Day. Just like the uh, the Valentine's Day one. It's so much cooler when you get to unbox it on the actual day. But now let's check out the rest of the sleeve here. So it looks like we do have a continuous sleeve. Looks like the main uh, theme here is a giant rainbow that goes on all sides there. Looks like we got some uh, gold coins uh, falling from the top of the sleeve there. Uh, we have some white shamrocks there as well, and it looks like some uh, clouds on the bottom there. Very cool. Alrighty, before we take the sleeve off, I suppose let's take our first sip of apple juice. So, I guess, um, looks like we're starting at this level right here. So, I guess we gotta maybe get it down to here, maybe? Alright, here goes nothing. Oh man, that is not the easiest apple juice to drink. Woo! Alright, took a little bit, but we got there. I think we got to the level we were, uh, we were shooting for. So, actually, I think I'm gonna throw this over here. And now let's take off the sleeve and let's check out the design on the box. If I can get it out. Wow, this thing is really stuck on there. Oh man, I hate when they're, oh man. This sleeve is like super stuck on there and I hate when that happens because I always think that I'm gonna damage either the sleeve or the box. It's not very fun. There we go. I just gotta kind of pull it out without damaging anything. There we go, we did it. So, so the sleeve right there and let's check out the design on the front of the box here. So it looks like the St. Patrick's Day meme is number 54 of the meme collection. We have the concept right there. Looks like we just have green um, for the background there. We have a little bit of design right there, which I think we're going to see a little bit more of on the side here. Yeah, there you go. So it looks like we have another picture of the concept right there. And um, looks like we're actually seeing a little bit of our first kind of variation in the background. 
So I mentioned it a little bit before, but all the dead meme boxes have the same design um, with a couple little variations. And of course the color changes as well. So it looks like we have some gold clouds in the green sky there. Um, and our first little bit of variation in the background is going to be that little top hat, uh, probably like a leprechaun hat on top of that grave there. Looks like we even got some shamrocks there growing around the grave as well. And on the back of the box here, oh, that's cool, I like that. Has that grave always been there? I don't remember seeing that grave before. What does it say? It says, in loving memory of Dat Boy. Hmm. I'm almost certain I've never seen that grave before, but I might be wrong. But it does look like we have another top hat on that grave right there. It looks like we have a little pot of gold right there. Let me do a little zoom in there. And it looks like we have some, uh, what is it called? Uh, shamrocks growing around it. I almost forgot what they're called. <laughs> Besides that, we have the classic background where we have a couple more graves in the back there. We have a palm tree right there, right there. And it looks like we have a giant rainbow coming from around that hillside right there. And it looks like it's carrying a little St. Paddy's Day meme. Oh, that makes sense because there's a pot of gold right there. So it's the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Very cool. I also like how they have a little cloud at the bottom of the rainbow as well. Very creative. And on the final side here, we have another little message and it says, press L for luck. Alrighty, before we open this thing up, I say we take another little swig of apple juice. Man, why did I think this is going to be a good idea? This is getting a little bit tough now. All right, we did it though. We succeeded. We got a little bit more of a swig there. So I think, uh, I think what? That's gotta be almost halfway done. But now let's get back into it and let's open this thing up. So on the top of the box here, we have another picture of the concept right there and we have a green background in back of them. And let's open this thing up and let's check out the inside box design or not the inside box design, the message on the inside of the tab. Oh, I'm already getting confused. And it looks like it says, where is my pot of gold? And it looks like we have a red background in back of that, but now let's take the uh, let's take the figure out and oh, looks like even the figure stuck in there. There we go. And let's check out the inside box design. And it looks like the inside box design is the same kind of design that we saw on the sleeve. Let's uh, grab that out real quick. I think it might be the same exact design actually. Look at that. Hmm. Let's see if we can match it up to any of these sides here. Hmm. No, okay, it's slightly different. It's slightly different. They didn't just copy and paste it, but it is definitely very, very similar. But now let's throw the box and the sleeve in back of this giant boot. And let's check out the figure. And here it is. This thing looks awesome. I gotta be honest, this is definitely one of my favorite dead memes of all time. I definitely gotta raise my desk up and uh, bring him a little bit closer to the camera because this is one small boy. Look at the details on this thing. I honestly love this figure. So it looks like the main color of this figure is going to be this green color that you see all over the figure here and I honestly think they did a great job picking the shade of green it's not too light it's not too dark it's like right in the middle it's perfect then it looks like his nose is a bit darker of a green and the rest of the facial features here are just white for the rest of the body here it looks like we have a dark green bow tie right there we have two golden buttons going down his uh, chest there then it looks like we have a giant black belt um, that goes all the way around the body as you can see and we have a big uh, gold uh, belt buckle on the front there. Uh, looks like he's wearing some white and green striped pants and he's wearing some uh, black shoes with uh, uh, looks like belt buckles on him. Very cool. Oh wait, let me try to show you guys better. There you go. Alrighty, before I talk some more, let's, uh, let's uh, drink some more of this apple juice. Man, oh man, okay. So it looks like now we just got the foot left. Instead of a boot, now it's just a, it's a shoe. But back to the dead meme here. I honestly think they did a great job with this figure. It's obvious that it's based on being like a leprechaun and I think they did a great uh, job on the detail with that. Like the detail on this one looks really, really good. When you compare it to the uh, Cupid meme one, um, you can really see the difference there. Like my main issue with this one is not that the details were painted on instead of being sculpted on. It was more that there's like no detail on it. Um, um, like uh, past just like uh, just like the color basically I think I explained that a little bit badly but I'm mainly talking about the diaper here so if you look on the uh, the box the concept design for this one um, it looks like there's like a ton of detail on the uh, the diaper itself but if you look at the actual figure there's no detail whatsoever it's just white whereas this one there is plenty of detail to go all around so I'm very, very pleased with that. And of course, you gotta love the little hands on either side there. Those look great as well. We have the hair on the back there. Honestly, this figure looks great. The only thing about this one though is that there's like this little thing on the back here. It looks like glue, honestly. I don't know why that's there, but I'm gonna try to get that off after the unboxing. I just noticed it. But now let's finish the rest of our drink here and let's uh, conclude this unboxing. And there we go. The boot has been conquered. 
I thought it was going to take me down with it about halfway through, but we got through it. We got through it. So now I'll give you guys a 360 of this figure just so you can see all the little detail on this thing because it honestly looks great. Like I said before, I love the aesthetic. I love all the detail on it. I honestly think they did a great job on this figure. And with that, I think that's where we're going to end this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this St. Patrick's Day special. If you did enjoy it, give the video a like, subscribe for more YouTube's unboxings. Make sure to ask you to sue, make a booze to his YouTube's. And I will see you guys in the next video.